Beware of wolves in sheep's clothing. You know what? I don't know how a man is supposed to get any work done on the building site nowadays. There used to be a time when it was a sanctuary for the male of the species. Come to site, do your job, have a laugh with the lads, you know, have a laugh with them, but don't bother trying to make friends out of them because that'd be a waste of time, wouldn't it? So, yeah, it used to, it used to be a sanctuary for the male of the species. Now, you can't get out done. You've got female trade people, like electricians, female electricians and plumbers. And to make it worse, they're in their 20s and they're drop dead gorgeous, aren't they? You just don't, uh, uh, your tongue's hanging out, isn't it? And then you got half a dozen female workers who got something to do with the housing association that just come into your plot and they're all stunning aren't they? You just stand there dribbling from the mouth. It, you, you can't get it done nowadays, it's a joke. Might well work at Tesco's, you know what I mean? Anyway, that side, all the dolly birds walking around the building side, that side, I mean a two bedroom flat, all white, um, and it's got one, two, three, four, five doors and five frames. Kitchen, lounge, diner, I think. Hallway. Anyway, I'll show you around it. Um, it's now 12 o'clock and I've gun filled it, powder filled it, taped up, scraped the walls down. Uh, what else have I done? Rub the frames down. Dusted them off, gunned them up, de uh, de nibbed the doors, and I'm about ready to do half an hour spraying until dinner. Um, so I'm going to show you around and what's involved. The, this is a ground floor flat, flat two bedroom, as far as I'm aware. Um, but I'm doing this video for you guys, so you know roughly in Leicestershire what you should be getting paid, but also as a reference for myself, so I can look back and go, oh yeah, I got paid that for that month, for, for that type of flat or that type of house. So let me show you around. You can see what's in front. Here's the hallway. As you see, all taped up, top of the rads. Pre-finished front door. Hallway. Yeah. Then as soon as you come in, You've got this room. I do believe it is um, it is a bedroom as far as I'm aware. So you've got that room and you come down there and you've got the cupboard there. There's the bathroom. I mean, I'm quite lucky because the kitchen's not in and it's not tiled, so I want to get it sprayed today. So I ain't got to piss about then. And any damage, it's extra, innit? So here's the bathroom. And you got another bedroom. This is quite big. Quite a big room. All the bare plaster you see, where the plaster's been rubbed down, I get extra for that. So kitchen, lounge, diner, nice bay window there, a lot of It's a lovely feature that is. But it's it's quite big here. There you go. No kitchen in, uh, as you can see. There's the kitchen in the middle. Got to get a spray down here before anybody turns up. But yeah, there it is, basically. 
Not a bad flat. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. Um, I like flats, but, well, I don't like them, to be fair. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't buy one myself, because I think you, it's on the leasehold, isn't it? You buy the lease for 99 years, and I don't, I don't know what happens after that. Then you get silly things like um, communal charge. Someone come in and run the Uber around the hallway and stuff like that, if it's a big block of flats. So you got added expense, haven't you? But, um, yeah, I, I, I just prefer to buy an house. Buy it, pay it off, and it's, it's there forever, I presume. So yeah, that's it, two bedroom flat. So I'm gonna get it sprayed out now. Uh, just gotta take some pictures of this bare plaster for the gaff off, so I'll book an extra hour in, you see. And uh, I'll get it sprayed out. Well, that's it. Day one complete. As you can see, all sprayed out. I've had to paint these. It's a good job of, um, I could spray it. Something else we've got to do for nothing. Oh, Jesus. Imagine doing that by hand. Take you about 20 minutes. But anyway, yeah, all sprayed. Walls all done, ceilings all done. Doors all done. Go what? In a day. That's not bad going, that thing. All done. Happy days. So basically now I've got to do the reveals, there's only about four, do the reveals, roll the walls, Jesus, can you believe it? Finish walls and go roll them now, pissy coat, half an hour, um, D-tape and uh, undercoat and sills, skirts, and frames ready for glossing. Hopefully, it should get a bit of glossing done. Oh, clean the hinges as well. I <laughs> know, oh, clean the hinges. I tell you what, they, they want the pound of flesh, do they? Hey, but yeah, Friday now, so it's my second day. Get it all finished on the code, start gloss with a bit of luck. Finish it Monday. So yeah, crack on. Well, I'm going to have another coffee and another uh, puff on me vape. Just finished the flat and uh, it's about quarter to 11, 10 45 in the morning. And uh, yeah, it's all done. All in white, five doors, five frames, skirts, uh, pipes all done, airing covered all done. Finished. Uh, I have been lucky, to be fair, I have been lucky because uh, the kitchen fitter never came, which was a bonus. And um, Tiny wanted doing it in the bathroom, and uh, they've not turned up, so <laughs> happy days, eh? Hey? Happy days. Because if one of them had turned up, I could still, I've still done it, but like, Kitchen fit off, you know what I mean? Wet gloss, yeah, bite on. Um, so yeah, done. Two and a half days it's took me, and uh, the hours I've worked, I've gone here at half seven, not started till eight, and left between three and quarter past three, sprayed it all out. Doesn't make a difference, that does. Spraying all the walls and ceilings in white, spraying doors in acne oil based undercoat on everything and gloss finish 
So yeah, two, two and a half days, and the price I got for it was 570. Um, which I, I, I don't think is too bad, to be fair. It's not quite the two a day, but um, the gaffer I'm working for at, at the minute, he pays petrol. So that, that bumps up to nearly a tenner a day. So three days, 30 quid, five, seven, 600 quid, isn't it? Uh, which is a bonus. I mean, you still got wear and tear on your car, obviously, but the, 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 that little bit of petrol for it, for it being out of Leicester, um, it, it does help, doesn't it? So, yeah, boom shackle, that's it. 570, 600 in three, two and a half, three days. So, yeah, there it is. Quite interesting. I don't normally do flats because I. I couldn't, make a, couldn't really make a play, to be honest. But I've done all right in this one, I think. So, yeah, there you go. I hope you've enjoyed the content of the video. If you have, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Check out my B channel. That no, makes sense, guys. You know, it makes sense. Um, so, yeah, till next time, guys. Stay safe. Don't trip over a sheet. Slice all your hand open and tip 10 litres of ackee on the floor. Don't do it. It's not funny. It's not big and it's not clever. Until next time, catch you later.